You you just eat any type of hot dog, don't you? It's not a hot dog. What you eating? Let me see. The corn dog. That is a dog. It's not a hot dog. It's the breakfast. It's the pancake. Like I said, you eat any type of hot dog. You eat a breakfast corn dog. You eat a, a regular corn dog, a hot dog. You whatever. You just eat any type. If it look like a dog on a stick, a dog in a bun, you're gonna eat it. I feel like Meg get on here and talk shit to us because she can't roast her kid. Leave us alone, man. God damn. I've been roasting them too. I know, and, and, but 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 you can't roast them good. You got roast. Yes, them you good. can. No, I've been no, roasting them so good. You can't roast your kids because they look like you. You got you with your little uh big shoulders. And they be like, "Thanks, mom." You can't roast your kids. Like you. <laughs> she was just on here talking about how how her nipples are like black crayons, and now she want to try to get on me. That is That's not dope. what I said. They do turn black when you first have a baby. You said your nipples they turn look really like dark. black licorice and black <laughs> jelly beans. You fucking up my. Uh... Why is that a conversation? You say what? What up, Lulu? What up? Because they're talking about nipples. Look at look at Lulu's nipples. Show them. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you thought you was gonna see some real nips? Ha ha. Not. I, hey, I did pause. Like this is crazy. This is crazy. <laughs> You but no, my OCD. Can you get centered, please, CP? Can I do what? Get in the center, cause Man, yeah, I'm on a, I'm on an iPad. My computer is in Canada. I just um, I'm, I'm in LA for a couple of days, for like a couple of days. I don't have my computer. Why you act like you can't shift your iPad over? Or just no, I can shift it over, but there the we go. Is to the left. So no, no this good. looks correct. That's okay. good. All right, so where am I Let's looking? Actually, do a little more because it's got a little light coming out on the side. It's bothering my, yes, it's right there. It's a little bothering your eyes. Really? You shut up. Just say it's fully blinding you, and I, I would like that better. Than, it, you know, it should be blinding your eyes. Uh, When it's not, my eyes have enough room to take in some light. You got some anime eyes where it's like you can only look, do one thing at a time. You can only focus on one thing. You can't do VR. You say Ant Man? You say Ant Man eyes? I said, I said anime, but. You know what I'm saying? Nice Boma, Goku eyes, whatever. It's cool. Shut up. <laughs> Anime eyes are really big, by the way. They yeah. are. I feel like I feel like they be trying to make them American or something. Like make them make them make Goku anatomically correct. Anatomically <laughs> correct. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait, why are you here? Yeah, why are you eating breakfast stuff? Isn't it like noon over there? Yeah, yeah. But I was working this morning. This is my third project of the day. I thought he was going to say third breakfast of the day. It wow, is third Luke. breakfast, girl. Just, it's third just breakfast. right in. That's, that's, that's right where you go to, Lou? Third oh. breakfast. And Lou didn't day. even come to my birthday party. She had no excuse. CP was out of town. I was sick. You wanted me to come sick? It was on the 7th, Lou. You yeah, just got I was sick. sick. Why is everybody sick? What's going on, man? What's going around? Sickness. I think because I've been on a roll, man, and... <laughs> You know that road life from plane to hotel, plane to hotel, and then my tour manager was sick, and I was just like, bro, I think you gave that shit to me. And I was trying to push through. I had, like, a couple events to do, and I was like, I, I can't do it. I can't do it. Man, I'm going to tell you like this. I was I on, the plane, on the plane back from Canada. It was a little white baby behind me where, first of all, if you got a baby, dog, why are you sitting in first class? Like, go on. Like, we, we, we don't want to hear that shit. Up Shut there. up! I'll be That's in first. Me. My babies will be in first class with me. Thank you. Well, guess what? You look and like if you, you don't like it. Then get on private. Your shoulders alone, okay? Because I tell you what, this baby get cried. On private. You right? You right? I could do that. I could. I, I could eventually. You know. What I'm saying? That jet suite is nice. Take that jet suite. It's basically private. Talk to me about that. What is that? Because because every time to um, it's a couple of different jet um. Like uh, memberships, but I'm not sure exactly yeah. how that. Well, well the Jet Suite, they start, they fly out of Burbank, and that shit is amazing. You don't gotta go through no TSA. You just show up. You put, they put your bag on the plane, and that's it. You walk right in. Like there's no mm. wait, there's no nothing, and it's literally like, like is it just right? for a certain amount of people on there, or like as far as like um like your you, whoever you're with like books it like books the whole jet oh, no, or is no. like other it, it anybody was like, can get on. I think it has like the most is like maybe 15, 15 or 20. And then you just go to the website and you book your ticket on this. Yeah. You basically just paying for a seat. So 
you don't own the jet. The jet's not being leased. Jet suite leases or owns the jets. And you're just paying for a seat, but it's at a premium cost. Right. It's worth it. It's so How much? Worth it. How much? I don't Depends know where my, you're going. My boss yeah. paid for mine. Like if you were going to like, was it like, I think to like Big Bear or something like that? From I would apply to Big Bear. <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't know, man. Some people just don't feel like driving, bro. I looked what it if, up. I, I, I was looking it up. It's a big bear. We went to Aspen. How much that cost? That's what it was. It was Aspen. It was like seven hundred for one seat, though. What? You wait. What? Really? One way? That's it? Mm-hmm. You know how much it costs to get on like first class for mm-hmm. like? I just paid three thousand dollars. Three thousand dollars for a first class ticket. Yes, round trip. To hear lying, to hear you ate one of them zeros, because ain't no way a private jet. It might, it might be seventeen. Let me, let me, do, let me check. I'm gonna check right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, no way I, I don't think the prices is that bad. I don't think the prices is that. I don't bad. think it's that you, bad, but it's you, in the thousands you, to hear. Why would you, for the sake of your story, to hear, quote us a thousand dollars less just to make it sound sweet? So here I am, pack my family up. We about to go. A $2,800 round trip to Aspen. And, and, and next thing I know, this is it's, it's seven, it's, it's, it's what, $11,000 here somewhere? No, nah, it's not that much. Hold on, I don't think it's that much. I think the prices are not that bad, honestly. That is funny. Round trip. So let's see. I'm going to go from LA round trip to where y'all want to go? Cab- Los, Los Cabos. Because we all went to Aspen. Oh, there's only certain to places too. They don't go everywhere. We had yeah. went to Denver, and um, we took that round trip. How's the food on there? It depends. I think how long your flight is. Like ours wasn't that mm-hmm. long, so they gave us like gourmet cheeses and champagne and snacks, like grapes and stuff like that. I was fine. I was lit by the time we landed. So. That sounds pretty dope. Okay, so this is from, because it doesn't go everywhere. At least I'm looking at one called Aero, A-E-R-O. Mm-hmm. Los Angeles to Los Cabos is $2,200. Round trip? Mm-hmm. Round trip. Oh, that shit per ain't bad. Person. Yeah, that's pretty good. That bad, There's no way I would ever fly first class if it costs that much. Because it's like everything that comes with it. Like, you don't have to go through TSA. Like, right. you literally just show up there. Wait, they- wait, that's a lot, man? No, no, no. I'm saying no. I would do like there's no way I would fly first class because first class be costing like like you said three thousand yeah. dollars. Like especially on Delta these days, it's insane. Delta is ridiculous. Right much now. rather pay twenty two hundred dollars on and fly semi private. Yeah. Like, like you really, would, that's you just, the point. That's the point. I I flew Air Canada back to L.A. right for my birthday. You're talking about five hour flight. A baby is behind me. We're in the Delta One seats, but it's on Air Canada. But it's like they have like this called business class. They got like a little mm. your little bed or whatever. This baby was behind me for five hours. Baby, right behind my seat. His parents sat on both sides of him. Right? If you don't take this damn baby to coach and sit your ass down, where no. people in coach, they could take a couple of coughs. Coach coughs, right? It, it sounds like it's in the same part of the dictionary. This baby wet cough for five hours, not even four <laughs> feet from the back of my head. And the parents like, ain't do nothing? What can you do? Your baby coughing, what you would do? Uh, you say, shh, shh, sh- sh- don't <laughs> cough. You have right. to cough. So I just looked at- No, I just I'm talking to my daughter. My daughter just popped the balloon, scared me. I thought, I thought it was going down. I, thought I was feel over. like there should be a whole airline just for people with kids. Like yeah, I do agree, I agree with that. If yeah. you're traveling with your child, you should book on this flight. I agree. It, it accommodates everybody who have babies that's crying and shit. Because they nobody want to deal with that for five or six hours. Oh, it should be like I, a Disney I agree flight. With you. Like a little Disney flight. I agree. Juice okay, so boxes, listen. Pacifiers. Jake. And you can just let them run. The seats ain't like in rows. They just yeah. like on the wall, so they could just run Each up and down. Each tray table the turns into a changing table. Like, See? oh my gosh, I would book that every time. So See? JSX is another one. JSX. Uh, That's they have private terminals, thirty seat jets with business class leg room, free snacks and drinks. I looked up the price from Burbank to Denver, like the Rockies, and it's six ninety five all in. Yep, that's what we and did. It, start, it starts at three seventy nine. 
Yeah. But wait, 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 wait. But you got to pay to get into the club to order to pay that, right? There's a, there's, it, it's like a tuition oh. fee almost. No. I got to check no. the seat. I didn't, I didn't no, look at that. Because when we, when we tour, right? Uh, our tour manager be like, we going to depend on where we going. He's like, we'll book that one or that one. Ain't no club or nothing. He's just like, whatever's available, whatever's convenient, whatever Chris like, that's what we going to do. Mm -hmm. So last time we took the Jet Suite and it was just like, just show up. Like, ain't no club or nothing. Just show up. No, not you. I'm saying the person who, like, somebody has to belong. No, to yeah, no. You don't have oh, okay. to belong. That's how some of them are, though. Some of yeah, them like, no, some of them are like that one. Oh, yeah, no. They want that, you to pay, like, different. a premium up front, and then you can be able to just buy after that. But for the most part, they want you to pay to get Either into way, there's still a premium. That shit sound way better than having to go to LAX and deal with all that bullshit. And then, man. man, listen, just put me on the jet, bro. Let me just get there and let me sit down. Mm-hmm. I agree. That's how I met Russell Peters. I was at the Jet Suite. And he was like, you look like a affordable Sanaya Lathan. I was like. <laughs> I was like, touche. That's pretty funny, but I wrote the shit out of Russell, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, he got I one I had no comeback. I had no comeback, CP. I was just one one like. Russell, he's he like a fat Aladdin. Sit your ass down <laughs> in your seat, nigga. Shut up. Oh, my gosh. Round trip from on JSX from LAX to Las Vegas. Y'all, this is only four forty eight. Four hundred and forty eight dollars. Oh, Round trip, that. and you get you you know what you're dealing with on the plane. You know what ain't gonna be more than uh twenty people. You ain't gotta yeah. worry about getting there early. I mean, if you're flying from um Burbank, you ain't gotta get there too early anyway. But nope. they got Wi Fi on that joint, free drinks, leg room, all that. Shit. Valet parking, valet free um free valet too. Yep. Cause the um the, with JSX the um the parking is different like at every every one they kind of vary from every one. So. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna start doing that. I'm gonna start doing that for sure. That's a play. But the only <laughs> thing is, it, it's like it, when I'm looking at all of these little websites, it doesn't go everywhere. Yeah, it doesn't right. even go to most yeah. big cities. That's the it. I see it going from like the southern cities, but not even all of them. Here's the thing, though. You want to get down it now because once you start going everywhere, it's gonna the price is gonna go up. Yep. So look, here's the thing too. Kenny Smith has one. Uh, uh, it's called the Jet Academy. Really? So Kenny Smith, we went to uh, when I did All Star Weekend last year. Um, Kenny, Kenny have a big All Star party every year, and it was like sponsored by the Jet Academy. And so I'm like, oh, that's weird. I didn't know he, he, if he was in it or not. Then he's on 2K doing an interview about Jordan, and when he comes on the screen, he has a big Jet Academy shirt on. So I'm thinking it's his. But it's like a. Oh, you might be an investor, right? But it, oh, you're not. You know, yeah, of course. Yeah. You know, big dumbass niggas ain't really doing nothing for it. Not him. Shout, shout out to Kenny. But I'm saying, you know, nigga be over six six. It's like, oh, I mean, <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, like uh, I think that's dope. Like, but his, I think you have to have a membership. That's why I said mm -hmm. earlier, like oh. some of you do. Yeah, some of you because it's a black owned one. And you have to have a membership for that one. They always hit me up. And they always hit Kev up. And I'm like, I can't, I ain't, I'm not at that point yet, my boy. What's I the appreciate membership it. looking like? I forgot what it was, Lou. It was, it was a but couple years ago. But y'all travel so much. Y'all should definitely. Right. Well, that's the thing. Like like Meg said, they don't fly everywhere. Oh. So, like, you got, like, the main spots on the West Coast. And you might hit one major spot. I haven't even seen one that goes to Atlanta yet. So oh, no. Right. And those and smaller jets, I don't know what that range is with the smaller jets. So, I don't know, man. Like, I, I, we'll see. I, I think I want to go you. to New York. That way I can go mm. back and forth. I having your, hey, having your own plane is better than having a mansion. Facts. Yeah, but I'll the fees, that. though, nigga, the cost associated with the pe the uh, the planes, the um, the storage fee for having your plane in the hangar, the fuel. If you're not a certified pilot, you got to hire a pilot every time. But yeah, I'm gonna tell you this. what they're doing though, just like all these jet academies and all of that. Like your plane needs to be flying all the time in order for to it to make it, it really, right. And so, really, you get a plane, it's your plane, but you put it into one of these rotations where it's like, like a, Uber. It's making money. Yeah, like yeah. Arturo. Like yeah Uber exactly. Plane. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm 
Do look, that. man, this is about as good a spot for, as any for us to jump into the first topic of the day. Uh, shouts out to everybody that's here. We got the OG squad. We got Meg Scoop. We got Lulu Gonzalez. CP back in the building. And of course, I'm to hear more. We're going to jump into this first topic right after this. This episode of Squadcast is sponsored by Blue Chew. Let's talk about sex, y'all. Fellas, shouldn't you always be at your best? Hmm? 2023 is the year to maximize your performance in that bedroom. You got to get out. Listen up. BlueChew.com, baby. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra, but in chewable tablets and at the fraction of the cost. You can take them any time of the day or night so you can plan ahead or be ready when the opportunity arises, baby. And the process is so simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com to consult with one of their licensed medical providers. And once you're approved, you receive your prescription within days. The best part, it's all done online. So no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in the line at the pharmacy. Blue Chew tablets are made in the U.S. and prepared and shipped direct to your door in a very discreet package. So don't be that guy that says, I don't need it. You don't know until you try it, baby. Blue Chew wants to help you have better sex. Discover your options at BlueChew.com, all right? Chew it and do it. And we got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free. When you use our promo code SQUAD, S-Q-U-A-D-D, at checkout, just pay $5 for shipping. That's BlueChew.com, promo code SQUAD, S-Q-U-A-D-D, to receive your first month free. Visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information. And we want to thank BlueChew for sponsoring this podcast. First topic of the day, we have, would you rather have sex in a haunted house Versus a filthy abandoned house. Filthy like so like a like, nice haunted house like, or a, a filthy yeah, ab- like a nice haunted house, but you know full full um all the activity is going on. You hear stuff not get knocked down. You hear people yell, all that type of shit. Are they moving the what? bed while we fucking? I if don't a, know. I mean, all of that ghost, shit can happen. If a ghost can knock something down, he could for sure spread your ass while you butt while you butt neck. Get out of there and go to somewhere where it is it is a quiet trap house that needs some work, right? Mm-hmm. But yeah. you, when you get a needle on you, you? yeah. The, the the abandoned house got syringes all around. No, nope. windows are all busted out. Somebody peed and defecated in a corner. No, 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 no. I would I would smash full of uh, a house full of ghosts watching. Yeah, if it's they clean, into a menage. If it's clean, then then the wrong kind of menage. menage. So, yeah, I don't want that kind of possession. Ew. They, the ghosts will probably start fucking each other too. That could turn into a time. But what if they're like pretending because you know they can't feel nothing, so they'd be like, ah. I mean, you don't know. They might be went overboard, man. You went overboard. You know, we miss we miss having sex, but we just pretend. What if they were just watching you though? That's fine. That probably happened before anyway. But this nigga said all the activity. That means that you're crawling up a wall. Like, no, no, nah, I'm good, man. Like, what about the real danger that you're in in this abandoned house? Because just because it's abandoned doesn't mean that there ain't people in it. Like, there is hella abandoned squatters? spots that have squatters abandoned. and homeless people. You could be smashing on a on a on a drug infested bed bug infested mattress that got blood Whoa. on it. Guess what though? Nobody said how long you got to smash. A smash could be three minutes. You get the hell out of there. Right, but a ghost getting inside of you because all of your butt naked is exposed. I'm good, bro. They don't I'm possess you. That's how it works. Out of the trap. CP. You say they don't. I don't think they the get ass. in you because you're naked. Yeah, they don't possess you through the whole open holes in you. <laughs> no, you, you mean to tell me, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, so your girl sit there, with her business all open. You don't think a ghost would be like, woo? That's what you know. See, no. Nah, she got, a, she got is- an attitude. Her attitude didn't check me out. Good, man. What if, what, as soon as you about to come, the ghost possess you because they want to feel that shit. And then now you don't get to so now. So now I didn't got a nut stole from me, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, no, no. Give me the abandoned house, right? I'm, I'm on a, I'm on a, I'm a, 
I'm on a 25 stroke program in that regard. Pop, 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 you can just stand on. up. You can just stand up and, and bend over. What you mean? Touch the wall, like touch the wall, like <laughs> that's it. No, mm-mm. I'd rather take the haunted house. I'm gonna close my eyes and cover my ears. <laughs> Man, and she's gonna and play uh, Kirk Franklin and she's gonna be okay while she's smashing in the haunted house. <laughs> I mean, he's probably had sex in haunted houses before. There's people that died in these houses we don't know about. But you didn't know. Look, can y'all smash scared? I can't smash scared. Why would you be scared? I can't smash if there's roaches around and and why bed bugs squatters around either. I'm smashing before in the hood. Yeah. No. No, I no, I've lived in a house before that had bed bugs back when I first moved to LA, and I will never. Ever, ever, ever be in a dirty house ever. That's the bad. worst experience. All right. You, you go to a house with some damn hell bugs. You worry about some damn bed bugs. Hell <laughs> bugs. <laughs> <Damn, laughs> <damn. laughs> like the thing is, look, we act like ghosts can only be human, right? This is this the ghost of all these dead rats. There's all kind of ghosts in here. You know, ghosts are dead, rat dead rats. So you say this could all be the ghosts, listen, all this could the be a this could be a gateway to hell. And y'all and y'all worry about I'm man, look, I'm good, bro. I'm good. I'm ain't good. no smash worth none of this, okay? I'm gonna just say that right now. Of if course these are my ain't. two choices. But life or death? These, these are your two out. choices, man. Well, we didn't talk about what if she got possessed and then she started giving you that demon, that demon throat. You know what I'm saying? Now you over here, your head's going 360 degrees. Hey. You spin it. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it could have been the ghost of a porn star who was like, "I really miss sucking dick." You know, that might be, that might be kind of fire. <laughs> Where my headphones at? Man, my kids still on break. Y'all got me tripping. <laughs> <laughs> Why you acting like you ain't know what it was? Why you acting? <laughs> man, that might look, be kind uh, of fire. <laughs> might be kind of lit. Man, first of all, what if it's a ghost from slavery? And you got a big master ghost. Hell, you niggas doing it in my house. You know what I'm saying? Like, and you smashing, and he, he whooped me your back. Can you imagine that, bro? That'd be tight because you couldn't feel it. It would just be a ghost whip, and you just smashing somebody that Why you don't agree with. Why would you not be able with? to feel it? So here it said it's all the activity. They were just opening cupboards. They could touch but you. Had, but hold on, what they got? They can't touch you. I feel like that is a line. They could possess I, you. How can they? Why, why they close the door? Okay, okay, let's back up here because y'all acting like this is what all. First of all, all ghosts, ghosts ain't really possession bad. type of ghosts. Okay. I mean, ghosts, you know, <laughs> like a bunch of look, them. Hold on, if you go sit here and be a ghost, take your ass to heaven or here. Why are you even here? You up to no good? Get out of here! What are you doing? They got why unfinished you business. What if they're unfinished why don't you business? Just say and that they to never them. Get to come the way they wanted unfinished to come. Unfinished business. The only way that I would be a ghost is if I died before the season finale of one of my shows, and I would just stay to watch that, and then I'm different. But you ain't know who it is. You was in it. No, not one of my shows. I'm talking about one of my shows that I like to watch. Oh. I'm going like, to be like, all right, I got to watch this last episode of BMF before I get the book on. And then if, it, if it's real good, <laughs> then I got to stay for next season. got to stay for the next season? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! So now you just hot in places that got HBO Max. Like, yes, absolutely. It, it, what it, if that's it, what Limbo it, was? No one told him it was canceled, so he's just sticking <laughs> around. He's sticking around waiting for the pilot, and he's just oh, like, "Episode absolutely. one, y'all ready?" And they're like, "Man, that was canceled thirty years ago." CP waiting on that Lovecraft Country season two. <laughs> there you go. You gonna be waiting, baby boy. You gonna be waiting. Uh, Man. If if y'all were a ghost, would y'all hunt people? Would y'all scare people? Hell if y'all yeah. were a ghost, yeah, I would. All the dudes yeah. that told me no, I'm haunting you. You ain't never gonna have a good night. They gonna be. I'm glad I told you no. I think <laughs> 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 this bitch is crazy, boy. I'm glad I told her no. I think uh, we both had to go do everything I didn't get to do alive. That like part. What? If I was a ghost, I would find out all the mysteries of the world. I would go to Antarctica and look yeah. around. I would go, you know what I'm saying? I would, I would can really travel like that. Usually when you die, it's wherever you you stay, wherever you at. Like yeah. that. How you know? How you that's know? That's a lie. Cause in that movie, movie you, know. Like, you ain't no. never heard a ghost say, I got my passport going to Antarctica. You talking about the Bible? 
No, in that movie that's on Netflix, the new one, uh, we have a ghost. They the ghost thought he was tethered to the house because that's just what ghosts do, right? But then the kid was like, "Well, let's try and see if you can leave." And he could leave. He could have left the whole time. That's hilarious. He just oh, left. Yeah. He was like, "Let's try it." They went. They went on a I trip to go find that. his. But well, thanks for telling me the ending, Meg. No, that's it's not, not the, the ending. ending. I'm saying that's not, not even the end, yeah. girl. That's like the act two break. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, we good. <laughs> It was all right. I stopped watching it. I forgot why, but I, I ended up turning it off. I think I fell asleep, but it was all right. I stopped watching it like in 10 minutes. I was like, I'm good. It's, it's all good. right. Go ahead and watch a little movie. Mm-mm. <laughs> I if, hard, if like you can travel as a ghost, I mean, how you going to get there? How you going to get there? Why? Like, what you you going to hop about? on the jet suite? Wait, I don't yes. think all ghosts can fly. Right. No, he like, just, he had hopped in a car. Listen. I thought I ghosts had to be wall. tied to something, like either like a uh, like the house or the the building you were killed in or you died in or like a graveyard. I ain't never heard a ghost just be like, nigga hopping on the number two bus. <laughs> now I can travel, bitch. Like, the if that's the, but if that's the because case- Because maybe they, they didn't know, hospital. y'all. Maybe they thought they had to be tied. So wait, people die in the hospital and then haunt their house. No, they haunt the hospital. Do they? No, sometimes they haunt their house. You don't necessarily, you hear people saying, oh, this is the ghost of such Oh, and you such. know why? Because then they attach themselves to their family member and they go home with them. Hmm. So I they think can go that somewhere. Literal. We need to, but you we need to be talk attached to a ghost. To something. You can't be attached to Southwest. Listen, if I'm a ghost <laughs> and I can walk through walls, I'm going to just aim You going to keep north. walking? I'm going to just aim north and just run. Why, why would I get tired? I'm just running through everything, McDonald's, all kind of shit, and going to the North Pole. Take me about two hours. Hey, what if you just started wherever you were haunting? Like, we just assume that you start in front of your body and you're like, oh shit. And then you start like figuring out where to haunt. What if you just like start at home and you're like, oh shit, this is where I'm, I guess this is where I'm at. I'm, I'm, I think you have to be tethered to something. I don't think you just got the free liberty to be like, you know what, today. That could be a tether. Yeah. Yo, would y'all would y'all uh use a Ouija board to try to ask the ghost nope. questions? Nope. I've done that before. I've me used too. A Ouija when board. I was in middle school, me and That's the white the girls. That's gateway to hell. You opening up portals and shit, and nothing happened. Did y'all well, hear? Did when y'all hear I was, about when the, me and um, the white girls did it. It was moving. Twenty yeah, twenty eight. There were twenty eight uh, possible cases of anxiety in school students. Uh, they were all hospitalized. And they were playing mm-hmm. with a Ouija board. This just happened March seventh. Oh. 2023. Yep. That's what they get. They were yeah. on edibles too. I heard about that. When Man. they on edibles, all them kids took that edible. They was fucked up. They was like, "Am I dying? Cause I'm having fun." They was going crazy. Y'all hear about that? Nah, I didn't hear about that boy. I feel Man, like you have to call the parents and everything because the edibles look like real candy. Like you know how they brand edibles like. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like so, Skittles, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And them kids was fucked up. Probably eating. They was probably delicious. They probably eating four or five of them, <laughs> and they got little bodies. My brother told me a story about him and a Ouija board and his friends. And I was like, I'm never doing that shit again. What was the story, Lou? They were playing with the Ouija board. They said that shit was working. That's a little square. And it scared them. And they was like, yo, it 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 was in Brooklyn. So it was an apartment building. They went downstairs. They took the Ouija board downstairs, threw it in the trash, lit it on fire. Went back upstairs. The Ouija board is there. That boy was scared out of his mind. He came home crazy. He was like, yo, don't ever touch that shit. I was yeah, like, don't ever let, light one on fire. It should have been the takeaway. <laughs> then he was like, throw it in the trash. First of all, people watch too much Jumanji. That's what that sounds like. Like, he's just black. <laughs> He needs to relax. Come on, G. They <laughs> watched a little bit too much. Come on, G. <laughs> also, you y'all wildin'. There's way too much murder in Brooklyn to just do a random Ouija boy. You could catch, you could catch any ghost from a hundred yards. You could catch somebody from upstairs, downstairs, hey, down hey, the Pat. street. Hey, Pat. The ghost keeps spinning. Your, your. <laughs> he says he's, he's dead ass. ass. <laughs> are you dead for are real? Are you alive? Dead ass. I'm dead ass. Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's funny. A ghost saying dead ass is hilarious. Funny. A ghost. <laughs> what if you do it in an apartment though? Like, does it? Would they have to have died in your unit, or could it? Is it? Any unit, or is it the? I don't. Holding? I don't think it's a ghost that's necessarily there. I think it's because, yeah, like in movies, it's who you're summoning. Mm. 
But that's the thing. Sometimes you, know? you don't know who you summoning. You just opening up a portal. You don't know who you talking to. I just to. look. Yeah. I don't, you be don't like, play Can with that stuff. Can anybody hear me? And they be like, well, we hear you, bitch. Well, they, I don't they, even they, remember they, they, what we did. I'm telling you, we was, in, we was in a trailer park. We was in my um, my middle school coach. She had like a sleepover. It was like the end of year sleepover for all of us cheerleaders in her trailer park. Kentucky, y'all. And of course, everybody was white. They were like, ooh, I have a Ouija board. Let's play it. So I'm like, okay, well, that's a little weird, but okay. I think I was in like seventh grade. And so they start, you know, you have to say like, what is it? Light as a feather, stiff as a board or something. And you're like moving it. But like, we were just sitting there holding it and nothing was happening. And so all of a sudden, I swear to y'all, the thing just went. <laughs> and I was like, oh, no, no, no. I'm out of here. No, no, no. We, you no should have known no better, man. No Coming from... uh. Deacon Thomas, he I know Deacon Thomas told you not to play with no Ouija boy. You just over there with the white girls, just, yes, just going yeah, along yeah. with the flow. I, I was sheltered, so I was like Ouija boy, what is this? But after it did that, I was like, oh no no no, black people don't do this. I'm I'm not doing this no more. And then you put your fingers under somebody, and then you'd be like, light as a feather, stiff as a board, light as a. That's that part too. Why do you guys know the chance? Because we were kids. That was a movie though. That was a movie. That was uh the craft. But that was in the craft. Will, yeah, that was the craft. But I'm thinking though, I bought my Ouija board from Target, and I feel like you got to probably get one of the ones from the 1800s for that mug to really be yeah. right. You know what I'm you gotta look like an antique shop. You gotta have, yeah, yeah. If somebody yeah. ain't prayed over it or they ain't dropped no blood of a virgin on the board, it ain't gonna work. <laughs> it got to be those places that you go to, and then when you go to return, the whole place ain't there no more. Like the <laughs> yeah, <cartoons>. exactly. <laughs> Then that episode of Rick and Morty where uh, <laughs> Morty's granddaughter was working for the devil, that shit was fantastic. Bro, if you don't got to blow dust off the Ouija board, it don't work. If you ain't got to nah. be like, oh, what about this, guy? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I had a brand new one from Toys R Us. I think it's going to work. Wait, all of y'all niggas had Toys Ouija boards? No. Now you had one too? I did. I, I had to buy one for an all deaf niggas try Ouija boards. So I never I never had one before that. No oh, one did not work with that. What was the result? Um it was a, it was a, a board game. They just they, they played with it and nothing really happened. Oh, the ghost was shy. Yeah, but it's like what do we what, who would we even summon? Like someone who died in a production studio? Like you got to be in a haunted place. <laughs> we were in downtown LA. It's a hell of a lot of people that de- died over there. Y'all should have picked the, the location. Time. You need to Google like a uh, a haunted house in LA. It's the thing. All the cemeteries the out in LA though look like movie sets though. Like you would have went to Hollywood mm-hmm. forever. They filming something while you actually trying to do the. It, it don't feel the same scary like it's cemeteries if, in other places. What if a homeless person dies? Like first of all, do they ghosts come back begging? And then second of all, does. You know what I'm saying? Let the ghost be like, let me hold a couple snaps. Like, what you need some money for over there? But that's he's trying to get his wings. Hey, what, what if he haunted underneath a, he just haunted a, a freeway a, a underpass, so he didn't get to see nobody. <laughs> he's like, man, don't nobody come down here. <laughs> uh, the construction ruined his plan. Right, let's put it to a vote. We smashing in uh, the haunted mansion or a trap house. What y'all doing? Oh, it's a mansion too. Oh, we should have said that. I'm going haunted. Hella haunted. Uh, I'm like, ah, that's a tough one. Because I don't want to okay, step on some we heads, we but I don't want to be possessed trap either. Is the trap though. It's uh-huh. trap, girl. It's every trap place you've seen. It's nasty. It's a place you shouldn't be smashing at. Yeah. Okay, haunted. That's not fair. The other one gets to be a mansion. This is at least a condo. And no, if we're if you guys are saying that it's it. it's demonic possession level haunting, then it has to be homeless crackhead urine smelling Ooh. level uh nasty Ooh. birds everywhere flying out all of the birds. Yeah. <laughs> and there's a there's a make the option worse. Dog. You, I know Wait, there's fired, a man. there's a Why? beehive in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> And a possum family. There's a possum family living right under the stairs. As soon as you walk in, they're like, "What up, though?" And then, and then the haunted one matches. So whatever is in the bando, the haunted version. So there's a haunted possum. There's like dead possum. Haunted beehive. Little ghost family is there. All that. You just always sing this a bees possum skeleton. Shit? That'd be scary. You just hear the bees like in um, swarm. 
Candyman. <laughs> Candyman. I, ain't, I haven't seen Swarm yet. I, I, I've heard it's good. It's good. good. Right. It's good, yeah. Okay. I'm going with Haunted as well, so it looks like it's... CP, did you change yours? Or you still stay with the yeah, trap Yeah, I changed house? it. There's bees in there. Oh, no. Because they said that the bees are dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm, going, I'm going trap house, man. By All the right, way, I Franklin, Franklin uh, smashing Chloe Bailey is the best marketing you can do for a show ever. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to jump into this next topic right after this. This episode of Squadcast is sponsored by BetterHelp. We are growing and changing on a daily basis. That's why getting to know yourself is a lifelong process. I personally try to write one thing down a week to show that I've grown. And then I bring that to my next therapy session to talk to my therapist. And that's why I love it because therapy is all about deepening your self-awareness and understanding. All right, because sometimes we don't know what we want or why we react the way we do until we talk things through. BetterHelp connects you with a licensed therapist who can take you on that journey of self-discovery from wherever you are. Therapy has helped me as a person, Help me control those automatic thoughts that I have. And also realizing that you're gonna just have those thoughts sometimes, but you gotta make sure you get back and ground yourself. It's also helpful for learning positive coping skills and how to set boundaries. It empowers you to be the best version of yourself. It isn't just for those who experience major trauma, so if you're thinking about starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online and designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited for your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. So discover your potential at BetterHelp, all right? Visit betterhelp.com squad today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp. H E L P dot com slash squad S Q U A D D. And we thank BetterHelp for sponsoring this podcast. Would you rather meet your ancestors from a thousand years ago versus your descendants a thousand years in the future? Oh, easy. Easy. E easy. Future. Like, what? No. I want to meet the old ones. Yeah. Wait, why future, CP? Because I'll tell you what, if I if I meet my future descendants and I can see what's wrong with them, I can come back and correct that coming going forward. Classic back to the old, future two problem. That's not always gonna work. Bro, it is. Listen to me. If I meet my descendants and they're like, yeah, we, we would have been good, except the fact that grandpa, grandpa, grandpa CP decided to do that one thing, I'm not gonna do it. It don't mean it it, it could go wrong a hundred years after you. You're going right. you going forward a thousand years. Something could go wrong. A hundred years after you die, right. they don't have yeah. a what I can future. control. I can control. I can't control nothing from looking at the past. Yes, like they're can. not even as lit as me. They're not as lit as me. Well, how can, what can I control going to the past? How do you know you ain't never met them? Uh, I, I met my grandparents. They were they was they was cool, but they wasn't like as lit as me. You that don't know. A cool. thousand years ago, they could have been super Man. lit. You could go go back a thousand years and, and find out where ships crashed or motherfuckers buried gold and all that type of shit. And then in come a back thousand to years and find CP, shit. your lineage probably not even black no more. Right. They probably got small eyes like me. And what you gonna do about that when they you probably see their eyes are small? What if, what if they evolved to just, doing? They were just nothing but giant eyeballs with legs. They were like, <laughs> we took out all the things that weren't you. necessary. <laughs> anyway. We are maximum efficient now. <laughs> we have evolved into the perfect beings. <laughs> All they're gonna do is try to impress me. They could be like, "Ooh, watch this!" I'm gonna be like, "You know, they be like, he's watching it." You know what I'm saying? Like, no, I'm lit, man. I'm, I'm going back. Now. I'm going to the future, bro. Like, dog, put it like this. Also, well, not a thousand years, but you can see pictures of your family from slavery and all of that you not in, even curious to see <clears throat> what what comes from you I'm, yes, I'm no, because what if it's trash what if, what if all of what your if, descendants are terrible years ago trash? Trash? first of all man you you gotta decide which is which descendant to go see you going to china or you going to africa because i'm gonna tell you what you got you gonna have to decide a thousand years ago either you're doing kung fu or foo -foo. You know what I'm saying? either way it's lit <laughs> no, it's not, man. It is kung fu and fu fu. Oh my gosh, that's like the best. It's that's amazing. It's not like to me. Fu -fu -fu. But you don't know in the future what if it, what if like your descendants really are super trash? 
Oh, and it really you wasn't your fault. Day? Maybe it was like a hundred years after you like to hear said. What you gonna do? You have no control over that. You could come back right. and learn something and then implement that for the future generation. Mm. Or at least yourself oh. at the end of the day. Oh, okay. So look, you, you go back and thousand years and be like, hey, don't go to the beach on slavery day. And then next thing you know, oh, you come slavery back. Day? Yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. We all know that. Slavery wasn't a thousand years ago, right? <laughs> no, was, what no, no, what I'm saying is, hold on, Pat. What I'm saying is, like, tell them a thousand years ago to be looking out for that. Because they were yeah, just that's chilling. That's shit to remember, though. They like, it down, and, and, and then and what years? happened one generation, they forget the day. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Like, oh, we I don't mean, know what that day is we, anymore. If we could pass down Jesus a thousand years to a generation, you could pass down, hey. He had a know, he had a mass marketed book though. He, he <laughs> I mean, they started the printing was, press for the Bible. Popping. That's true. Multiple That's true. publications. True. <laughs> hey, you think Jesus, Jesus like Jesus bragged Jesus about it? Like... He was like, "Hey, I got this book coming out. You y'all see? <laughs> <laughs> it's about to drop. I got this crazy yeah, book signings." <laughs> first of all, first of all, if I get to, what if you get to heaven and Jesus got like a a, a five hundred times platinum plaque? <laughs> yeah, you know I did. Uh, <laughs> this, I, did, I did the Bible. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, he got all his accomplishments hanging up. Like, you know, said one time I cleared blindness. You know what I'm saying? You know I brought a dude back in the day, bro. Right over Super here. Super bestseller. <laughs> Billion sold. Billions. Billions <laughs> saved, bro. <laughs> he got all wild. the translations. <laughs> This one's my favorite, English. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! He got the he got the unedited versions though. He got all the the books that they left out in one Bible, nigga. Oh, the <laughs> hidden book, <laughs> hidden, hidden books. Imagine, imagine going to going his studio. Sarah, y'all wanna, what did she do? Y'all want y'all want to unreleased shit? Check this out. <laughs> unreleased. <laughs> This stuff. Not been cases like they unreleased <laughs> Jordans. Just, just <laughs> I thought about Please dropping these. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> that'd be Thousand crazy. Years in the future, though, it's like how many generations is that? A thousand. Mm. Let's say a hundred. Uh, that's like six twelve? or seven generations. Like right, twelve. What? Twelve. Yeah, That's girl, because it's the app. Let's just say 100. We know we ain't, ain't nobody living 100 years, but if you just round it to 100. Say, let's then... say 100, but that's... that's. I would say, I would say 80. Our lifespan is not 100. 20. I'm yeah, just saying, just for <laughs> simplicity's sake. So 10? So 10 generations? That's old. Wouldn't it be... Wouldn't it be uh, I say 12. I say 12. Two generations for every 100 years? Wouldn't it be two, two generations for every 100 years? Well, yeah, I mean, then that's do, that. 50 50. do that. So it's 50-50. That that so it's up, uh, yeah. So, that's too much. Because you don't gotta die for the next generation to be. Yeah, on the that's true. You were saying if we're if one person is born every hundred years, that's that's twenty. That's twenty. Gender, that's 20, twenty generations <laughs> later. You fucking that mythical family. <laughs> <laughs> Once every hundred years, a child is born. <laughs> <laughs> it would be dope to go back in time and like. Like see where you came from, learn stuff. Like you could you could learn enough stuff to write a book about your lineage and like the true history of where you came from and, and your actual actual African tribe. Like you could you could learn a lot. Or can I pass on to my ancestors like hey man, this how you make a light bulb. Keep this in the in, in the back pocket. <laughs> it's gonna be popular. Uh, like, yeah, create that generational wealth. All type of packs. I am printing them out and I am bringing them with me. And you yeah, gonna get your family you... members killed? That's true. What if what? You are gonna get your family members killed? And then I'm gonna then black people already created all this shit. And look what happened. That'd be crazy. Right. You do all that and then come back to the future. Everything is completely the same, and you're like, what happened? It's like, yeah, they stole it from your family too. You're not yeah. special. <laughs> Everything, right? You're not special. Everything the same, yeah. but your ass not here. You not here. <laughs> you 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 just dead. <laughs> you never you just existed. A, you come back a ghost, <laughs> right? What happened? Oh, uh, your your family was a witch. They produced light a hundred years before we thought they were. It's like, damn, I, that was me. <laughs> 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 I gave him an iPhone with a flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> 
Nah, that's uh, witch activity. Right. Showing us YouTube know. video. Oh, Good. watch out now. Don't spit on us, man. <laughs> My bad. That gap is gap in the day, baby. Don't let them steal your joy, right CP. No, that's all good. I want I, I want start to hear I want start to hear by the Oreo and then have to reposition itself to get through the whole way. All right, and then I get down, get to the cream, and I can really bite it. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> hey, what can go wrong with going to the future? I feel like this. You, there's some stuff you smash. Know. You smash one of your nieces or nephew. You know, not nephew, but you know what I'm saying. Like you smash like a descendant. You smash a relative. Like, yeah, you don't know. Danny, these future hoes is cold. And then you look up like, how long uh, are we there for? Hey, what if you got somebody smash. pregnant a thousand years in the future, and then you went back and you had a son that you didn't? I I I, I messed it up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking like, wait a minute. <laughs> All right, no, you go. You got somebody pregnant a thousand years in the future, and you go back, but your lineage don't start until three thousand twenty three. What? That's, that's dope. I mean, you. The whole mean, point you is that you're going to on. see your descendants, Pat. You talking about your lineage don't start. Your lineage has been going on. That's how you right, got there. But you don't have a, a a son or daughter that. Never mind. Just let's keep going. The regular. Question. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because that was <laughs> making sense. <laughs> it would have made. But what sense if you try that? to do that and then and then you ended like civilization because. We're super dirty, and then in the future, everybody's clean, and they don't have these like diseases anymore. They don't have COVID. They don't have colds. Pat, it would have made sense if you said if you went back in time and got somebody mm. pregnant, and then you come back here. No, what I made, what I said, made why would sense. that make more sense, Lulu? <laughs> Why yeah, what, what, show, what about that? He don't have descendants in the future. He has ancestors in the future. <laughs> yeah, why did that make more sense? <laughs> go on with the show, man. Go to the past and do it. What are you talking about? I feel you. Now, you, now your show, son man. is hey, your Hey, go ahead with your little question, man. Go ahead with your question. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> that's put now your vote. kid that's, is your grand. Let's put it to a vote, man. What y'all doing? Y'all going a uh, thousand years in the in the past, a thousand years in the future? What you going with? Future. Ass. All right. One Can I one. say something? Can I say something real quick? But we everybody to kind of sway y'all. We've seen pictures of the past. In your lifetime, you understand fully what the past entails, right? You will never know what a thousand years in the future will look like in this lifetime right now. So to see yes, that, I will. I'm gonna be a ghost. Well, wait, wait. that's true. We get wait, we get to like walk around, or do we just get to go and talk to those people and then that's it? That's what I'm saying. How long are we there for? Um, you get to you get to walk around and talk with those people. You don't like. I don't think you would just go off on your own. You you gonna find your your descendants or your ancestors. You'll spend time with them. Maybe maybe spend like a, a day, day right? Yeah, a little day, day, day pass. Yeah, two day pass. Yeah. Man, I'm going back in time. And you know why I'm going back in time? Because I feel like there is there, uh we have no clue. Just like you said that we know everything about the past. No, the heck we don't, especially when it comes to Black people. I feel like yeah. our history has been erased. I, There's I probably some amazing like that. stuff that we never got credit for, and I want to go see for myself. Yeah, I, don't know I brought up Lovecraft. Thing. I brought up Lovecraft, but that was really, this whole topic is what that whole show was about. And yeah. was, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was, yeah, I feel you. The past you know. seems hot, though. It seems like there's just, like, everything... In the past was just really, really. But you got to remember, it wasn't any global warming back then, so it might not have been as hot as it is now. Yeah, we, don't like, know. we don't know. Plus, we don't know what the future's entailing because history repeats itself, right? We could go to the future, and there's a whole other civil war going on. There's Nigga, a whole you go other to the future, racism going on. It ain't on. nobody on Earth. Earth was destroyed like 500 years ago from an asteroid. You just low key that could ha that you risking that too. A thousand yeah. years ago, the yeah. Earth was for show sure here. We don't know. It could have been. Yeah, we could have been getting. I, and if it's That's what if it's like Mad Max? I would be so mad. That's true. I don't want to yeah, go to like yeah. a Mad Max future. All right. So can you die? Go? Huh? Can you die in either of these? You better try not to. I don't think you can. You're just like a visitor. You're like a yeah. hologram. Man, visitors and die you... every day, B. 
Like, who's to say our ancestors want to give us, like, stop everything they're doing and give us a tour? If it's like Mad Max, our ancestors are going to be chasing us. If you if you travel to the past on, like, a fucking uh, teleportation device or a pad or something like that, nigga, they're going to be smitten. They want to know everything. They want to know as much as you want to know. You can't even really prove that you are who you are. You're just like, I'm I'm Patrick Houston, I promise. And nigga, show your this ID. is how you prove it. You, <laughs> You pull out your phone, and be like, you know, what one of these is, motherfucker. They go really. No, kill you. they gonna be they like, really no. You. And you. Oh, your Wi-Fi router is a thousand years old. <laughs> All the shit you would pull up. Is... And then you, you can pull up the travel in the past with your regular clothes on. <clears throat> they gonna look you got, at you suspect. You got pictures and all that shit. I would take a gun with me though. Wherever I went, I would take a gun with me though. And they're gonna have what? Why would you think that, that would be like in the future? Now. Right. They could have like a metal absorbing stuff in the future. They could. They could. Or they could not. You so. better off with mace. All right, man. Let's put it to a vote, man. We said uh, uh who's Pat, you said the future. Yeah. You I don't, don't think they've cured future. mace a thousand years from now? They have for sure cured mace. Mace like, right, cured That's mace. Like, saying, like a slingshot, a slingshot, like. David and Goliath, like, no, fam, the nigga will pop you with a slingshot today. Mace is going to be obsolete. <laughs> no! Something in the face? They still human, right? <laughs> man, no man. what's your vote, Meg? I'm going to the past. Okay, past, Pat? Uh, future. CP? Future. future. Lou? Come on, Lou. There you I'll go. probably go past, too. The past, uh, man. You remember the episode well, of Jamie Foxx? Fox? The episode of Jamie Foxx CP when he went to the he went to the past he pulled up in the SS Impala. He had that purple yeah, Impala. I do. I do. I, I do. always I think do about this. That. He pulled on the like, it was like a, a cowboy set. He pulled up with the goddamn Impala. My <laughs> thing is, crazy. all right, so then you you put up an Impala, oh, then you 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 ran out of gas. And now you look stupid as fuck. Where the fuck I'm gonna be going? Well, how far <laughs> you think I'm going? How far you think I'm going to the past? You went to the past. That's very far. I'm not That's driving true. at the top. All right, man. That's definitely a next. full tank. Go on to back. the next topic. <laughs> <laughs> right after this. <laughs> Last topic of the day we have. Would you rather hear your partner with someone else versus see your partner with someone else? So when you what see you them, it's like it's on mute. They smashing, yeah. So you see with no audio or you hear with no video? Yes. So either me or Stevie Wonder is is is, is, is experience. <laughs> I'd rather yeah. see, cause he just hearing leaves the rest of your uh, like Ooh, imagination. imagination going wild. And if they if they getting they shit done in caved in, <laughs> you just like. But that's the thing. If you hear it, it might, they might not. They might just be hyping it up just because. Like, yeah, you have to see. see you need confirmation. I gotta see. It. I gotta see. see it. It. You gotta mm -hmm. see it. I gotta see what position you putting this bitch in. She don't do it like me. She not that <laughs> flexible, bro. She not. Wait, flexible. so you, okay, so you would rather not hear it. You would. Rather yeah, I can't it. hear it. Mm. Yeah, Cause, cause cause you can hype yeah. it up. You could be making me think it's the best dick in the world, and I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah. but if you, you see, like, see it. It. he gonna he gonna finish right now. He gonna finish right now, girl. <laughs> he tapping out. He gonna turn you over. He turn you over. Are you done? Wrap and it he's up, done. <laughs> yeah, I got. I, I I probably got to see it, man. Cause like, sounds are just horrible. You know, <laughs> <laughs> right? Sounds, sounds are horrible. Like I think that seeing it, you just be like, oh, okay, I'll, I'll put up. I guess you you still have a little pride. It's on mute. Like, I mean, I, I guess. I mean, you know. But, but if she made a sound it? that you ain't never made her sound before, you be That's pissed. Mm. Oh, she, well, she, she gonna make a sound I ain't never heard before after, after this all said and done. She gonna make some dope ass sound. <laughs> Pow! Ow! Oh! Oh! You think people get shot and say, ow! <laughs> <laughs> Ouch! Imagine that's what 50 Cent said. That nigga kept saying, ouch! Every shot? Ouch! Ouch! <laughs> <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> hey, you know what's funny is, 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 is when you get hurt and people go, ah, that's hilarious. To me. <laughs> Sometimes it makes it feel better. Yeah. Instead of crying. You just got to breathe through the pain. Just breathe through the pain. Ah. 
That's crazy. You stub your toe? I think cussing make it better. You ever study your toe? No, they uh they proved that like screaming out fuck or something like that actually helps with the pain, which sucks for people who don't cuss. Really? Yeah. Uh huh. What's the, what's like, the last oh, time? What? What's the last <laughs> thing you did? The last time you hurt yourself that made you yell out a cuss word or do the? <sighs> I, I burned my finger. You say what, man? I burned my finger. How'd you burn it? Like on the stove. Mm. All right, that'll do. Mm. Hey, Lou, what you say? What did you I do? I had my Lou? toe on the couch yesterday. Oof. I almost said the same shit. Because I was rushing, I, and I turned. I hit my I pinky. Like running out you the house. You your pinky toe, and it, like, separate. Like, Ooh. that's the that's the where it's like, hey, I'm going to kill the nearest person to me. <laughs> mm. Mm. Sometimes you just got to take a seat. Cry Nigga. out, take yeah. a seat, sit down. I slipped going down the stairs at my, at my place, the carpet. Foot came from up under me, hit my head so hard, felt like I gave myself a, a, a hard reset, nigga. I, I like literally saw black and then like the the flashing starry type shit, little circle. that shit right Wait, there. Wait, what? Hold on, what? You was just like walking and then you fell the socks on? Yeah, I had on I had That's on it. socks. Yeah, going down the steps, slot slid a little bit. Oh, you you heard the fridge open? Somebody was taking your brisket. You was like. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> You, you hear that little that little ball little little grip little on the bottom. <laughs> a little baby socks. Hey, hey Farron came home. It was freckles all over the steps. Who the hell left all these freckles all over the steps? <laughs> <laughs> he was <laughs> gathering. <laughs> Gather them up. <laughs> if you're gonna fall out here, you gotta vacuum. <laughs> no, he cleaned up most of them, but he like left a little bit in the corner. <laughs> 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 I you know there was some freckles in here. The investigator and he did the crime and he put out a black light. There's freckles everywhere. I, <laughs> I know who did this. <laughs> they have the little strings. No, nah, he couldn't have been. He wasn't tall enough. This was the wrong angle. The freckles oh, came down man. from a, someone who was at the least five. The trajectory of the freckles? <laughs> the freck, the frevectory. <laughs> the frevectory. <laughs> the frevectory. <laughs> This is stupid. You guys are stupid. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's okay to hear. Uh, Patrick got a purse. Bye bye, Quantrell back there. I see it. Did you say bye bye? Bot bye. Oh, <laughs> Quantrell bought you that bag. That's a duffel. Okay, that's a duffel. okay. He loves you. Oh, that's a duffel. <laughs> he love you, honey, because that is a cup oh, of cheese. That's your ass up. <laughs> 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 that was a pure shutdown. Shut your ass. Yeah. Stop telling my business. Shut your ass. Shut your ass <laughs> Lulu, oh. you got the Riddler's cane behind you? Yeah. Where, where you get that? I was the Riddler for Halloween. Wow. That checks out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, yeah. Where were you in April yeah. 19? That nigga had oh, nothing after that. Really. <laughs> no, oh, <checks> okay. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't return it. So I was like, I got to keep this shit now. Yeah. Here the Riddler would have returned it. <laughs> <laughs> I like that little Slytherin scarf, my, my sister. You ready yeah. now, man? You ready now? Are y'all playing Hogwarts? Ravenclaw. Ravenclaw. Oh, you Ravenclaw? Ravenclaw. Big I just, Claw. I just went, I went regular Gryffindor, man. You know what I'm saying? Just wait, how did y'all... Wait, did y'all get to choose y'all's houses? Or they? it was, like, selected for you? Well, the yeah. hat the hat does it, and then you can choose. The hat does. Yeah, then I, you, I, I didn't like that. It's ridiculous. I that pad, like, then you could choose. Like, it's right, weird. The, it, it made the what hat... It, it's like we... we uh dissed him in front of a company. It was just like, you're Gryffindor. And we were like, nah, I want to be Ravenclaw, though. And he was just like... <laughs> but, I, but I'm but i the hat. <laughs> I took the test online way before the game. Um, I'm, That's I'm like a, community you know, college. You gotta you gotta actually put that hat on. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a huge fan. So I've, I've know, been a Slytherin before know, ICDC the game. sorting hat. And then when I did the game, they said I was Slytherin too. So I was like, it's just that. <laughs> ICDC with the hat. You <laughs> get online, you did the Phoenix, Arizona, Hogwarts. Because <laughs> before it was
was an actual game. There's a whole Wizarding World online. Like you can go right. online, and pick your house, and all of that. It, they give you your wand, your Patronus, all of that good shit. Here's the thing, though. If you went to Hogwarts, that's like going to like Sierra Canyon because whoever they played in Quidditch was other other schools who was wizard schools, right? They played within yeah. their own school. Each one oh, against each other. Houses. Oh, that's right. Uh, I was like, damn, yeah. did they go school to yeah. school? The yeah. only time they ever did against other schools when there was actually the big uh, tournament, the actual, the, the Wizarding Cup tournament. But that's what I'm saying. It's other so schools. places that, that you could go besides Hogwarts. That have, oh, like, yeah. They, Hogwarts is just in, in London. They have, there's one in mm. New York. There's one in, uh, it was like. Wait, eight, where you see all this at? It's in the world, girl. You got to read the books and, and watch the movies. There's a Hogwarts, New York? Yeah, and actually in Fantastic Beasts, they come <laughs> and they're in New York. And then the, the London dude, she was like, there's a girl that's there. She's funny. like, you think y'all the only ones that got a school? Like, we got one out here, too. Like, that's funny. Y'all like that? Look, where is it at? Brooklyn? The girl? <laughs> I would love to see that spinoff. Yeah. It's on Fantastic Beasts. They say the no, um, of, the, of this the Hogwarts school spinoff. No, like, oh, yeah, original, like in New York. The original yeah. cast has already signed up to do the the next one. Who? Did they? Because I know mm -hmm. Hermione was like, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I heard that too. And then like literally like a couple days later, I heard that the whole cast had agreed and signed on to do the next one. Because they're not like a major part in the next one. It's mostly about uh, Harry and and Malfoy's son. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. they just come in like a little cameo here and there, but. If they're in it, that's gonna be fucking dope. Cause they, uh, her and Ron were like, eh, I don't know, we want to do it. Harry was yeah. like, I'm down, but she had a bad experience on it, so she was like, I don't, I don't really want to. What was her bad experience? She was the only woman on there, and like in that puberty. Cause I remember it, it, it was one movie. I'm like, wait the fuck a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, you know, what? she got her first kiss on her. Hey, no. Yeah, she, so she had like she a really in. awkward experience. Like, she was just like, nah, it wasn't really dope. Like, I think it was. <laughs> yeah, it's still set. Yeah. I feel actually, like the best one, though, would be like the African Hogwarts. I want to see that. That's probably where they're doing like all the real stuff. They're doing in magical the game, scams. Actually, in the game, Stop, <laughs> no. No, you will not put that on our people. <laughs> Nigerian <laughs> <laughs> Don't Nigerian worry, I already Nigerian. have your credit card number. You waiting for your Nigerian owl that never gets there? Like, what is owl oh, from Nigeria? Ain't never sent me my email back. Wells Fargo the Onus. The one in the Social US Security Osity. <laughs> in the game, Security Osity. In the game, there is an African girl in the game, and she says how she was at another school in Africa. And she That's came fire. here. She got transferred over here. Mm. See, I want to see that school. Right. I don't want to see Harry's kid. I want to see a whole other school. Right. Well, see, let's put it to a vote, y'all. What we going with? Uh, your Hogwarts in Africa. Question. Hogwarts in Africa. Hear your partner with someone else or see your partner with someone else? Oh, I forgot. Mm -hmm. Man, no, I'm back traumatized again. I forgot we had got to that, man. I, I, I was done with that. <laughs> I got to see it. See it. I got to see, see it. it. See it. See it. See it. It's unanimous with the C. You know what I'm saying? We want to thank everybody you know for why? pulling up today. We got the OG Squad, Lulu Gonzalez, Max Scoop, Patrick Cloud, CP, and up to hear more. Thank you guys at home for watching. We appreciate you. We'll see you next week on another episode of Squadcast Versus. Peace, guys.